Welcome back to our channel, Space Enthusiasts. Today, we have some exciting news for you. In this episode, we'll be covering the highly anticipated launch of Chandrayaan-3, India's third lunar exploration mission. So, fasten your seatbelts and join us as we dive into the details of this incredible space journey. Hey there, fellow space enthusiasts. I'm thrilled to be here today, bringing you all the updates on the Chandrayaan-3 rocket launch. This mission is a significant milestone for the Indian Space Research Organization, and we're about to witness history being made once again. Chandrayaan-3 is an ambitious project for us, building on the successes and learnings from our previous missions. We have designed this new lunar lander and rover to be more robust and reliable. Our team has spent countless hours testing and refining the technology to ensure a successful mission. So, what are the objectives of Chandrayaan-3? Let's take a look. Chandrayaan-3 is the third lunar exploration mission by the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO. It is a follow-up to the Chandrayaan-2 mission, which was launched in 2019. The primary objective of Chandrayaan is to achieve a soft landing on the lunar surface, just like its predecessor. The lander will release a rover, equipped with advanced scientific instruments, to explore the lunar terrain and conduct experiments. The rover will carry out several scientific experiments, including studying the lunar soil, analyzing the composition of rocks, and mapping the moon's surface. The Chandrayaan-3 mission incorporates lessons learned from Chandrayaan-2, which experienced a partial failure during its landing attempt. ISRO has made several improvements to ensure a higher chance of success for the upcoming mission. The lander and rover of Chandrayaan-3 have been designed to be more robust and reliable. The launch of Chandrayaan-3 will take place from the Satish Dhawan Space Center, located on India's east coast. The launch vehicle for this mission is the GSLV MK-3, a powerful rocket capable of delivering Chandrayaan-3 into space. The spacecraft is likely to land near the moon's south pole and operate for one lunar day, equivalent to 14 Earth days. This data will provide valuable insights into the moon's origin, its geological history, and potentially even uncover resources that can support future human missions. We have been meticulously preparing for this launch, ensuring every aspect is in perfect order. The launch window has been carefully selected to optimize the trajectory and maximize the chances of a successful mission. We have conducted extensive simulations and tests, leaving no stone unturned. As we speak, the excitement is building up, and the countdown to the launch of Chandrayaan-3 is about to begin. The team at ISRO is eagerly awaiting the moment when the rocket will thunder into the sky, carrying the dreams and aspirations of an entire nation. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. The Chandrayaan-3 rocket will ignite its engines and is soaring into space, leaving behind a trail of fiery exhaust. The collective efforts of scientists, engineers, and researchers are going to be put to the ultimate test. While the rocket hurtles towards the moon, the ISRO Mission Control Center will be closely monitoring every aspect of the mission. This nerve-wracking phase requires precise calculations, trajectory adjustments, and constant communication with the spacecraft. Several days after the launch, Chandrayaan-3 will enter the lunar orbit. Once again, the critical moment arrives as the lander prepares for a soft landing. The entire world will hold its breath, hoping for a successful touchdown this time. And there you have it, folks. The journey of Chandrayaan-3, from its launch to its anticipated landing on the moon's surface. It's a testament to human curiosity and our unending quest to unravel the mysteries of space. Thank you for joining us today on this incredible adventure. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates on our videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.